Hi, I'm Seunghwan. In this work, we present a new computational imaging method that simultaneously captures spectrum and depth using diffractive optics. This is joint work with KAIST, Princeton, Stanford, and KAUST. Let me start by reviewing some previous work. Depth sensors estimate the distance from this sensor to a scene, facilitating various applications such as autonomous vehicles, robotics, and virtual and augmented reality. On the other hand, hyperspectral cameras aim to capture the detailed spectral information of light waves. So instead of RGB images, they capture hyperspectral images, typically with more than 30 channels. This allows for deeper understanding of materials and used for geology, medicine, biology, food, and cosmetics. Remarkable progress has been made for each imaging modality, where geometric and material understandings are required separately. However, it is often essential to achieve a simultaneous understanding of both geometric and material properties of the real world. This leads to an emerging area of hyperspectral depth imaging with applications in ornithology, geology, biology, and cultural heritage. A typical architectural choice of building a hyperspectral depth imaging system is to combine a hyperspectral imager and a depth imager. While this approach allows for maintaining the imaging performances of each modality, it results in inevitable increases of system complexity, including form factor and cost. In this work, we aim to overcome this challenge. Our key idea is to utilize the diffractive optical element, DOE, which spatially modulates the phase of an instant light wave. We observe that using a DOE as a lens makes the point spread function of the camera changes as spectrum and scene depth. For example, Fresnel DOE shows the variation of PSF in spectrum and depth. This allows for estimating spectrum and depth from a single capture in theory by analyzing the captured PSF structure. Then, naturally a follow-up question is which DOE is good for reconstructing depth and spectrum? To answer this question, we propose to learn the DOE profile using a differentiable simulation. That is, for a given DOE phase map and a hyperspectral depth data set, we compute PSF, sensor image, and reconstruct the hyperspectral image and a depth map using a neural network. Here, we implement the entire algorithm with differentiable operations in order to optimize the DOE phase map and the neural network using a first order stochastic optimizer. As a result, we obtained the DOE and the reconstruction method specifically designed for hyperspectral depth imaging. But we are not done yet. One prerequisite for making this method happen is a hyperspectral depth image dataset, which does not exist to date. So we present a first hyperspectral depth dataset of 18 real world scenes which was captured by our custom setup combining a structured light depth imager and a liquid crystal hyperspectral imager. We demonstrate that our method outperforms the state-of-the-art hyperspectral depth imaging method in simulation. We also experimentally validated our method by fabricating the learned DOE and building a prototype camera. Given a sensor measurement, we reconstruct a hyperspectral image and a depth map. In summary, we presented the first single-shot hyperspectral depth imaging method using a DOE. We hope our method and dataset inspire follow-up research 
in the field of high dimensional computational imaging. More details and the data set will be publicly available on our project website. Thank you for watching.